What's up guys, I'm Jason. You're watching another video right here on Phoenix Podcastic. We're not in Phoenix, we are in Prescott. We are visiting some family up here, so I figured I'd check out the mall, check out Walmart and Target, and see what kind of pops they had. So let the collecting begin. There's some beautiful trees around here. It's really, really pretty around these parts. All right guys, we're here at Raven's Relics comic book store. They have some pops inside, so let's go check it out. They have a whole wall full of pops. So we are gonna check this out. Cool to find a cool store like this in Prescott. Some cool WWE pops there. They do have this Mickey one. I don't know, what is that, a five pack? Cool Superman pop I usually don't see in stores. Some awesome Masters of the Universe here. This out guys, they have a con sticker cyborg Superman, looks like 50 bucks. That's a cool pop. I do have the shared version. Would be cool to get the con version. Bookshelf here where they have some more pops here. I'm gonna take a gander. Some Simpsons, Doug, there's some Ghostbusters, just random ones. Kingdom Hearts right here, which are really, really awesome ones too. The 7-Eleven Stone Cold Steve Austin's here in stock. That's pretty cool. Let's see, there's just some random ones here around. They have them all over the store, guys. Alice Cooper. I am noticing their prices are a little on the higher side, but you know, it's a second, third hand store. So you gotta, you gotta make that profit somehow, right? Colonel Sanders Funko Shop exclusive. There's an Earth 2 Batman. It's pretty cool. You got the Joker. You can see, look, this shouldn't be, I don't know, 25 bucks. That's kind of a lot there. Same for like that one, 25 bucks. So the prices are a little, looks like on average, everything is 25 bucks to start. So I don't know, maybe you could find some that are over $25 and you can do a good deal, but you see they're all $25. If this box was all yellow, I would pick this up, but this is the reprint one. You got a bunch of mystery minis. Look, they got some Justice League mystery minis. That's pretty cool. More pops I found here on the side. The boys got Snuggle Tooth. Is it Snuggle? Snuggle Tooth. Lemmy from Motorhead. Got a Chase Captain Marvel. Ooh, look at what I found. I found a whole bookshelf case thing of McFarlane stuff. One's really, really cool. I do not have this gold label one. I said I was going to pick it up if I saw it in store, but I'm not going to do it for $30 today. Nope, not for $30. Bat Cycle is a really cool one. Batman's a cool one. Wow, that Batman is really cool right there, but they're all $30. So Pops are $25 and these are $30. Look, you guys, Common Ninja Turtles, $30. So Raven's Comics here, guys, and uh, Prescott, definitely check them out. There's their card right there. So overall, it's a cool store. They have a bunch of cool pops inside and stuff, but I don't know, to me, it seems a little overpriced and you know, it's okay. So, but if you're in Prescott and you wanna check out a cool comic book store, definitely check out Relics Comics. All right, so here's the mall entrance. We're gonna head inside where there's Hot Topic. I would hope Hot Topic's open once I can find it, but there's lots of closed stores. All right, you guys, I found the Hot Topic here in Prescott. Let's head on inside and see what they have. So they do have some of the Alligator Loki here in stock. They do have some of the Wonder Woman Breast Cancers Static Shock. Haven't seen that in a minute. The Mickey Mouse with a, would you find a Demon Slayer cup? Yeah. You would. Oh, this is cool. The Iron Maiden somewhere in time, Eddie. Too bad it's not the chase, but that is a cool pop for sure. I'm gonna check out, see they got some Naruto, Karomi, um, the Nerdette. They got some of the Simpsons, Nelsons, some of the Witcher pops, Yennefer. They do have the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and the lighting in here sucks, but they do have that in stock, which is pretty cool. And the single Blue Eyes. Um, beer is eating noodles over here and that's all I'm seeing on the shelf right now they have some pocket pops of course but that's it just some of the hex girls way up there so the Hot Topic had some stuff that I didn't see at our Hot Topic but wasn't anything mind-blowing nothing crazy Presley got herself a demon slayer little tapestry that she's gonna hang on her wall a little poster thing but I think we're gonna head on to a different location. So we're like an hour north of Phoenix. We're here at Target in Prescott. Let's go check it out. If you guys are enjoying this wonderful scenic view of Prescott and like Funko Pop videos, make sure you like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. This Target is tiny. That's what she said. So guys, just offhand first, I found this little middle cart thing and it's full of some Magic Johnson uh, Target cons, they have the evil lens, they have the shredder pop and tea. 
They have Kirk and Spock. I haven't seen that one in the store yet. They do have the Black Luster Soldier. They have He-Man on Battle Cat that's flocked. Parks and Rec. So no one up here has really taken all these uh, Target Con 2021, 2022 pops. Of course, now that we're inside, it seems a whole lot bigger. That's what she said. And then back here is their normal section of stuff. Of course, a bunch of the art series. They do have some of the Regal irons, which I haven't seen in stores for a while. Um, trying to see if there's anything cool that's on sale and I might scoop up, but not really sure. They have some of that Yugigo. How do you say that? Yugigo? Yugigo. Yugigo. I don't know. They have some of those too. This is the only sale thing I see, but I wonder if it's for these art series. Um, they have two penguins, but most of them are the turtle ones. But I don't see anything else, but it says gift sets Funko, so I'm not sure what that means. So Prescott McFarlane's, let's see, not much different. Um, oh, they have a cool Superman back there. I did notice they had this uh, new Superman that's out. Still trying to find the death metal Wonder Woman for my uh, build a figure set. Haven't seen that one in store yet though. So heading into Walmart, we are planning maybe and possibly in the future to move up to Prescott. So I'm kind of concerned though, because there seems to only be one Walmart, one Target, one mall. So it'd be kind of hard to make pop videos all the time, wouldn't it, if we moved up here? I don't know. But anyways, we're into Walmart. We'll see if Prescott Walmart has anything good. All right, you guys. So here we are back at the collectibles section. Looks pretty full. She's gonna check out some posters, see what there is over there. We're gonna see what they have over here. Hopefully they have something that I wanna pick up because as you guys have seen so far on this pop hunt, I haven't really found anything that I wanted to pick up. Ooh, they have the Jackie Robinson pops right there. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna give a little scan around and then I'll show you what I find. They do have the Rock Art Series. Again, not a good looking pop, but they do have, I don't know, several of those, three or four of those for 20 bucks. Still trying to find Slash. I don't think he's shown up in stores yet. Most of these are NBA and then like the hip hop ones. All right guys, so here's the basic section here. I'm gonna kind of go through here. Um, nothing majorly, except I noticed they did have a Squid Game pop. They have the Player 199 Ali. Um, some of the Boba Fett or Ali, my daughter's telling me, Peyton's Presley here, she's telling me it's Ali. They have a lot of the uh, Boys to Men pops here. I was hoping to come across some secret, you know, Prescott luck where I found something that I don't normally find, like a chase or something crazy, but you know, every video I'm gonna keep saying that until someday something cool happens and I come across something that's super rare or chase or something. It never happens to me in the store, it seems like. But yeah, so for the most part, that's what they got. You guys take a, take a scan. I did find this Superman McFarlane, so that is really cool. So watch for a, a Monday McFarlane video of that because that is something I'm gonna get scooped up for. Wait, what? What? What am I saying? I'm not even speaking English. Anyways, there we go. I also caved and got one of these Popsies, Batman Popsies as well. So overall, Prescott has some pretty decent selections in their stores. Not bad, not bad. I wish there was more than one Walmart or Target, things like that, but it's not bad. The mall was pretty good. Hot Topic was good. Relics Comics was good, a little bit overpriced, but not bad. It's cool that they have a store like that here in Prescott. But until the next video, we'll see you next time on Phoenix Poptastic. A big shout out to our Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, there are three tiers for you to support the channel. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out these videos right over here as well.